The charges, sir, I'll hear them again. My lord, His Majesty's court contends that the defendants, Mary Reed and Anne Bonney, did piratically, feloniously, and in an hostile manner attack, engage, and take seven certain fishing boats. Secondly, this court contends that the defendants lurked upon the high seas and did set upon, shoot at, and take to certain merchant sloops, thus putting the captains and their crews in corporeal fear of their lives. Edward James Kenway, born of motley parentage in Swansea, to an English father and Welsh mother, married at 18 to Miss Caroline Scott, now estranged. She's a beautiful woman, I am told, but not at all well these days. If you touch her, you bastards, I'll... Quite a surprise finding you here rotting in a Jamaican prison. We heard rumors that you had taken up with the pirate Roberts. If you know the observatory's location, tell us now, and you'll be out of here in a flash. Rogers can hold these British hounds at bay for a time, but this will be your fate if you fail to cooperate. You, Mary Reed and Anne Bonny, are to go from hence to the place from whence you came, and from thence to the place of execution, where you shall be severally hanged by the neck, till you are severally dead, dead, dead! Oh, Ross! May God in his infinite mercy be merciful to each of your souls! We're pregnant! Do you all hear that? What the devil did she say? They plead their bellies, my lord. Aye, you can't hang a woman quick with child, can ye? Quiet! Quiet! If what you claim is true, then your executions will be stayed, but only until your terms are up. Then I'll be up the duff the next time you come knocking. Remove them! What's your name? Billock, Ken Moore, Conway. It's Walpole, ain't it? Walpole? Where'd you get that? Well, that's the rumor going round. As dirty and daft a pirate as ever sailed these West Indies. Well, whatever his name, you gotta make sure he suffers without dying. Orders from the governor. And back to the prisons at sundown. And massage his feet if he's aching, Oi. shall I? Quiet! Hey! Quiet, you! Hey! Quiet! Open this gibbet! Ah! Oi! You stop that! Good morning, Captain Kenway. I have a gift for you. Do not mistake my purpose here. I have come for Anne and Mary, and you owe me nothing for this. Ah. But if you would lend me your aid, I can promise you safe passage from this place. I'll need weapons. You are comfortable with this, I am told. We must hurry.
Stand still. You there! Stop! Uh. Get back here, you deaf bird! You come back here! You won't lose us that easily! Uh. Uh. Not a damn thing. Let's get back in the water. <clears throat> Bastards in me sight! Interloper! Raise the alarm! <clears throat> I've got a shot! He's in my sight! Faster! We will not be losing him! Stand still! Push him to the right, boys! Stop! He won't get away! He'll tire! Discovered and brought here. Didn't hear what happened after that. Best of luck to you, mate. I wish we'd parted as friends. It's me, Edward. Edward? 
Who's this fella? It's all right, Anne. He's a friend. What's wrong with Mary? She's ill. And her child? They took her. No idea where. Oh! 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 I know it pains, my lady, but we must be silent. Can you walk? Oh! Oh! Lean on me, Mary. Come on. I can't. Search every cell! Come on, that's it. You're all right. Don't die on my account. Go. This is such a pain in the ass. Damn it. You should have been the one to outlast me. I've done my part. Will you? If you came with me, I could. Mary. I'll be with you, Kim. What happened to Mary? What's wrong? Is she gone? Oh no. Oh God! Oh. <sighs> what will you do now? Nothing sensible. You haven't earned this, but they suit you. Good fortune to you, Edward Kenway.
Bring a bottle. I see some color first. Will this do? In all your years out here, you could never achieve what I've done in one fifth the time. Because you're a good man, Edward, see? Goodness is your disease. That's my prize, Roberts. I've given here! Remember my creed, boy. A short life and a merry one, that is all. The world owes us nothing more than this. So take what you will, and then die before you live to see yourself made a fool. Give it here. That's right, boy, take it. I'll sweeten you, maggot. I'll cut you down! Oh. Oh. Calm, little puppy, and slink back to your kennel. You haven't the metal for my brand of madness. Robert! Welcome aboard, Kenway. It's prizes, plunder, and adventure ahead. Are you game? Out of my way, Ben. Raise a glass to freedom, lads. Here's to gentlemen of fortune and women of leisure. To a world full of rogues better than all the kings and queens that kick us about. As gentlemen of fortune, we enjoy plenty and satisfaction, pleasure and ease, liberty and power. What man with a sensible mind would choose the former life? For I have dipped my hands in muddied waters, and, withdrawing them, find tis better to be a commander than a common man! down on powerful wings to seize a grazing lamb and carry it off to her nest. Flying close by, a jackdaw saw the deed, and it filled his head with the idea that he too was just as strong and capable. So, with a great flapping and rustling of feathers, the jackdaw came down swiftly and clutched at the coat of a large ram. But when he tried to fly away, he found he could not lift the animal for his size and strength were not up to the task. And even as the jackdaw struggled, the ram hardly noticed he was there. Nearby, just across the field, the shepherd saw the fluttering bird and was quite a few. Running... No more than two years! You promised me! You left! When I needed you the most! But you had me! What keeps you wondering? Do I not make you happy? I'm so close, Caroline! Please! Just let me do this! Is everything you do out of spite, Edward? It's not spite that's driving me, Mary! It's courage! Courage for what, man? There's no one left in your life to care! God damn you all! I can handle this! You lout! Always tearing down when you could be building things up, or building yourself up if nothing else! Just leave me be! Change course, Edward! Change your bloody course before it's too late! Captain Kenway! You look like a ball of plumbed off. Christ! Oh, I've got a head for ten. On your feet! You put me on the spot, Addy. After leaving me with Robert, I shall have hard feelings about seeing you here. But mostly I'm bloody glad. <laughs> me too, brother. And you'll be tough to know your jackdaw is still in one piece. 
So we set sail. You're leaving. Aye, Edward. But I have another calling elsewhere. Ade, listen. When your heart and your head are ready, visit the assassins. I think you'll understand then. Jesus, Ade, what the hell happened here? You happened here, Edward. The damage you caused six years ago has not been undone. I'm not an easy man to call a friend, am I? Is that why you're here? To fight beside a man so driven by personal gain and glory is a hard thing, Edward. And I have come to feel the assassins and their creed a more honorable cause. Have I been unfair? No. For years I've been rushing around taking whatever I fancied, not giving a tinker's curse for those I hurt. And yet here I am, with riches and a reputation, feeling no wiser than when I left home. Yet when I turn around, look at the course I've run, there's not a man or woman that I love left standing beside me. There is time to make amends, Captain Ken. Mary. Before she died, she asked me to do good by her. To sort out the mess I made. Can you help me? Mary was fond of you, Edward. She saw something in your bearing that gave her hope you might one day fight with us. Aye. She told me. And what do you think of our creed? It's hard to say. For if nothing is true, then why believe anything? And if everything is permitted, why not chase every desire? Why, indeed. It might be that this idea is only the beginning of wisdom, and not its final form. That's quite a step up from the Edor I met here many years ago. So what do you think? It'll take some getting used to. The second attack this month, I should have moved this village long ago. I brought all this upon you years ago, but I will stand by you now. It will take more than a few favors to call yourself a true assassin, Edward. One thing at a time, mate. more. Come. To the beach! Bistunu bin le balobo. La, stay close at work. Follow my lead. Creo que puedo darle. 
No perderemos a esa nada. So many dead. So many injured. Good to see you Swift and clean, Edward. Most of us killed the whole Yanumuk Awoyetel Apinshan. And once more you have our thanks, Edward. You are welcome here. Thank you, sir. I'll rest here for a time before setting out, if I may. How's her child? She is a strong woman, but not invincible. I'm sorry for your loss. If I'd stayed in prison, they'd have taken him from me. He'd never be alive. Maybe this is God's way of saying I'm not fit to be a mother yet. Carrying on like I do. Cursing and drinking and fighting. You are a fighter, I. In prison. I heard stories of the infamous Anne Bonny and Mary Reed taking on the King's Navy together. Just the pair of you. It's all true. Anne would have won that day if Jack and his lads were passed out in the hold from drink. It's right. Everyone's gone, aren't they? Mary, Raccoon, Touch. All the rest. I miss them so. Rough as they were. Do you feel that too? All empty inside. I do. The devil curse me. I know my targets by sight well enough, but how will I find them? 
We have spies and informants in every city. Visit our bureaus and the assassins there will guide you. That fixes Torres and Rogers. But Bartholomew Roberts won't be near any city. Might take months to find him. Or years. But you're a man of talent and quality, Captain Kenway. I believe you will find him. And if you're at a loss, do not be afraid to call on your quartermaster for aid. Quartermaster! What's our present course? Due west, Captain, if it's still Kingston we're sailing for. It is indeed, Miss Bonnie. Call it out. Weigh anchor and let fall the courses, lads. We're sailing for Jamaica. How does it feel to bark so loud? I've barked louder and to men twice as rough. Tending bar at the old Avery, you mean? Among other places. And I sailed with Mary in Rackham for a time, remember? Of course. Mary did most of the captaining, Jack did most of the drinking. Did Mary... Did she ever tell you who it was that fathered her child? It was a young fella. Sailed with us on that last voyage. Poor lad was killed fighting beside us. The only man not too drunk to stand up for himself. There was so much about her I didn't know. I called her a friend. But was I one in return? She thought the world of you, Edward. Have no worries about that. Well, that's good to hear. Captain Kenway. You have something for me? The present whereabouts of the Templar Woods Rogers. He is attending a small political function, so do it clean. The word is King George is calling Rogers back to London. Aye, not happy with his progress in Nassau. Still too many pirates roaming about from what I hear. <laughs> You'll need a disguise to fool the powderheads at this party. I suggest the visiting diplomat, Ruggiero Ferraro. He's been on our list for some time. Understood. Will you send this to England for me? Aye. The ship leaves tomorrow. Caroline Scott Kenway, Hawkins Lane, Bristol. Ah, praise God for 
imported wines. Salve. Forgive the lateness of my arrival. I am Ruggerio Ferraro. Aye, Mr. Ferraro. Not a... Ladies and gentlemen, a toast to my brief tenure as governor of the bar. For under my watch, no less than 300 of our pirates took the king's pardon and swore fealty to the crown. And yet, for all my successes, his majesty has seen fit to sack me. And call me home to England. Brilliant. God bless the fucker. Therefore, hooray. Hooray for the ignoble and ignorant prigs who rule the world with sticks up their asses. Hooray. And how is Mrs. Rogers these days? I haven't the faintest idea, and I don't intend to inquire any further. We separated almost five years ago, and both our lives have been the better for it. Forgive my curiosity, Governor. Perhaps I'll be more candid later, when the remainder of my reason has left me. privateer once how is it you lack so much respect for sailors only trying to make their way in this world you couldn't possibly understand my motives cretin you have spent a whole lifetime dismantling everything that makes our civilization shine but i do understand i've seen the observatory and i know its power you'd use that device to spy and blackmail and sabotage yes and yet all for a greater purpose. To ensure justice. To snuff out lies and to seek truth. There's no man on earth who needs that power. Yet you suffer the outlaw Roberts to use it. No. I'm taking it back. And if you tell me where he is, I'll stop the man. Here, at the edge of a blade, I find a friend in you at last. Principe, you mad bastard. Our best sources say Principe. Trust me to get caught in the middle of... Stop there! Oh. And then what? Done. Where now? Grab your kit and pack well. We're sailing for Africa.
Captain, here's one still kicking. Who did this? It were a large vessel, the Royal Fortune. Roberts. Offered no quarter, didn't say nothing. me now, eh? Is it a spectre come to spook me? Ah, or the gaunt remains of a man I sent to hell? Fire! He's off the way! 
with him that needs taking. I'll have to board her myself. Man the guns! There's more fodder for you coming! How can I not be impressed by the attention you paid me? May the best of we two sing praises of the second! And a short one, as promised. How well I know myself. And what of you, Edward? Have you found the peace you seek? I'm not aiming so high as that. For what's peace but a confusion between two wars? Oh, oh you're a stoic then. But perhaps I was wrong about you. She might have had some use for you after all. She? Of whom do you speak? Oh, she who lies in wait. Entombed. I had hoped to find her, to see her again. To open the door of the temple and hear her speak my name once more. I... Talk sense, man. Oh, I was born too soon. Like so many others before. Where's the device, Robert? Ah... Uh, uh. Uh, destroy this body, Edward. The Templars. If they take me... concluded. Se 
Es mío, no es capaz. Enemigo a tiros. Aprovechando la ventaja. Lo veo directamente. Creo que puedo darle. Captain Kenway! I'm assuming this is the friendliest face you've seen since dropping anchor? Is Havana under curfew on my account? Mm, aye. Torres seems to think someone's coming after him. He's not wrong. A monkey looking thing? Is that what I think it is? Aye. Watch. Through the blood of the governor, we can see through his eyes. That's. That's by the church. Keep this safe. Just in case. I'll be at the bureau. Good luck. Tenemos un asunto pendiente con el tiburón en el castillo. El señor Torres querrá hablar con nosotros personalmente. ¿El propio Torres? Menudo honor. No te alteres, amigo. Esto no es una reunión de sociedad. Seguidnos. Señor, disculpe, pero ¿por qué tenemos que entrar ahí? Ya han enviado a la mayoría de la flota. ¿Estás cuestionando una orden directa, soldado? No, señor, pero es que... Bien. ¡Atención! más rápido que una bala. Ni menciones a los asesinos. He oído historias sobre ellos. Espero que te equivoques. Ahí, vosotros dos. Cerrad esas bocas antes de que os las tenga que cerrar yo. Señor, sí, señor. Prisioneros. Cállate. Bien. 
Continuemos. Vosotros, seguidnos. Y esta vez no vayáis a meter la pata. Sacarte el hígado, socio.
¡Aprovechando que protegemos a esa rata! You're done, Torres. Christ. This again, eh? I can't score a hit like this. How about a little gun? No man came to a pistol shot, I reckon. You could speak, mate. It would gladden me to hear your side. You humbled me once, and I took that hard lesson, and I bettered myself. Die knowing that for all of our conflict, you helped make a soldier out of a scoundrel. Leave this life for a lasting peace, down among the dead.
People got word Taurus left the city. Who were you chasing? That vial was labelled Taurus, but held the blood of his second. Where's he gone? Left port this morning, heading west along the coast. The observatory. Will we follow? Send word to Atabai. We've cornered our man. Observatory, when you're holding the treasure yourself. Torres doesn't know I have it. So why bring it to him and risk its capture? I'd like him to know I have it, just before he dies. Edward, there's a fleet blocking the cove we want. Aye, the Armada. That's Torres and his men. And you're going to do what, exactly? Find our way past them. Fire! That's where the ball is! 
pain as you can! Who's this Taurus? And what's your mind done to earn a death sentence? He's a Templar. Like Rogers and Hornigold. Men cooking up schemes to use the observatory for ill purposes. For power and control. The violence he'd cause with this thing would be subtle but heavy. Deadly, yet leaving no mark. Does that make sense? Like, if there was a drought and people was thirsty, and one man had a large cask of water, but gave a sip to none. He'd be a killer with no blood in his hands. Aye, like that. Fair enough. No, they're here. Deep in the jungle. They brought every ounce of menace they had. Thank you. 
Tengo línea de tiro. ¡Alto ahí! All so strange. What is this? Later, on. I'll tell you all when this is finished. We've come to see. Aye. Stand watch here and let none follow. Fitna that doesn't fight, sight. Mis piernas! Cosmo! Mis piernas! Venga, muévete! No puedo! Mis piernas! No responden! Déjalo! Déjalo! Moriremos todos! Mastro y dos, levántate! No quiero dejarte aquí! ¡Será vuestro funeral! ¡Por favor! ¡Por favor! ¡No me abandonéis! ¡Está aquí! ¡Nuestro pirata está aquí!
for ourselves and brought these miserable empires to their knees. There is so much I can show you things. <laughs> Captain Kenway, ever a splinter in my side. Does this murder fulfill you? I'm only seeing a job done, Torres. As you'd have done with me. As we have done, I think. You have no family anymore, no friends, no future. Your losses are far greater than ours. That may be, but killing you rights a far greater wrong than ever I did. You honestly believe that? You would see all of mankind corralled into a neatly furnished prison, safe and sober, yet dulled beyond reason and sapped of all spirit. So I, with everything I've seen and learned in these last years, I do believe it. You wear your convictions well. They suit you. Torres awakened something fierce. Are we safe? With the device returned, I believe so. What do you call this place? Captain Kenway's folly! It's a wall to sue to kill her. Can't win it. We will seal this place and discard the key. Until another sage appears, this door will remain locked. There were vials when I came here last. Filled with the blood of ancient men, Robert said, but... They're gone now. Then it's up to us to recover them, before the Templars catch wind of this. You could join us in that cause. I will, but... Only after I fix what I mangled back home. It arrived last week. But there isn't much time. The sure of it is, you saw my beloved Juno. And for a brief moment, I thought she might occupy this tender body of yours. But something went wrong. And now, she's back out there, adrift. Oh, she was magnificent once. 
one of a race of beautiful, wonderful creatures. They created your kind. Did you know that? Your people were tools to them. That's all you have ever been. That's all you should ever be. One day soon, I hope. For the world is nearly ready for her return. Wired. Prepared for a second coming. <gasps> Uh-oh. Here they come. Those Templars. Or maybe assassins this time. Idiots. All of them. <clears throat> I envy you. It was her wish that I be here to greet her. It was her experiment that made it possible for my rebirth as one of these things. Ah! Stay down! Get down on your back! Now! He's got a gun! Guide me into the grave, beloved! I am your instrument! Put the gun down! Drop it! Drop your weapon! Clear! Clear! Check his vitals. He's bleeding fast. Check the victim. Are you okay? Can you hear me? Hello? Talk to me. You all right? There you are. Thank God. I hope you feel well. You look good. Can you stand? Good. Try walking around. A doctor came by, said there wasn't anything to worry about. That the liquid in the syringe was far, far below a lethal dose. I feel terrible about all this. About everything. All our evidence pointed to you, but it was John all along. God, the things we found on his computer... Whatever you need, we'll provide. You've done an amazing job. Speaking of which, our trailer is finished. Would you like to see it? I owe you that much. There we go. I uploaded it to your database. You can watch it here or at your Animus. I think you'll love it. It really captures the, the essence of the era. So, take care. And again, thank you. In a world where pirates rule the waves, these men will discover that nothing is sacred and everyone is committed to rum, plunder, and women. Hola, ladies. This summer, Abstergo Entertainment invites you aboard for the adventure of a lifetime. So sharpen your cutlasses, shine your hooks, and sail with the Devils of the Caribbean. This virtual experience is not being rated.
Gentlemen, how do you find it here? It will work for us. But our goal must be to scatter our operations. To live and work among the people we protect, just as Altairi Ben Lahad once counseled. Well, until that time, it's yours as you see fit. Edward, Captain Woods Rogers survived his wounds. He has since returned to England, shamed and in great debt, but no less a threat. I will finish that job when I return. You have my word. Evening, Anne. Edward? I'll be sailing for London in the next few months. I'd be a hopeful man if you were beside me. <laughs> England's the wrong way around the globe for an Irish woman. Will you stay with the assassins? No, I haven't got that kind of conviction in my heart. You? In time, I. Well, my mind is settled and my blood is cooled. Sail ho! Coming into the cove! <laughs> You're a good man, Edward. And if you learn to keep settled in one place for more than a week, you'll make a fine father too. Did you always know how to sail a boat? The Jackdaw is a ship, Jenny. Not a boat. But did you always know? No. No, I learned after leaving Bristol. After you left Mother? Well, I didn't leave your... I didn't leave without saying goodbye, that is. It was an arrangement, you see, between your mother and me. She said you left her. She said you always talked about sailing a boat. ...and making money in the new world. I did always want to sail a ship. That's true. But not for a lark. 
to support us. But take care of her. And you. Not me. Mother said you didn't know about me. She said you wrote only once a year, and that she never knew where to find you. That's all true, and I'm sorry for that. If I'd known earlier... I don't know. I might have come home. I hope that I would have. Well, you were busy. That's what I think. I was, but... That wouldn't have mattered. Can I steer your boat? Boat? I see no boat here. Do you? Oh, I mean ship, obviously. I don't see the difference anyway. Ah, it's a very simple one, Jenny. A ship can carry a boat, but a boat cannot carry a ship. Why then, everything is a ship. Large and small. But for my toy boat, the one I take into the bath with me. <laughs> That's a clever way of seeing it. Is it hard to talk about Caroline, Jenny? About your mother? Mm, no. She passed some years ago. I miss her, but it's all right. Was she in pain? I don't know. I don't think so. She was very happy for quite some time. Then, not so happy. I didn't see her much after that. Then, she was gone. I... I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. It's all right. You're here now. And we're on an adventure. Now only a little one, I hope. I can't handle too many more surprises. Do you think we'll see a whale? Yes, there's a very good chance. Hmm. And what about pirates? Will I see pirates? No. Not much chance of that, I think. Oh, uh, that's rather sad. I should have liked to have seen one. Tell you what, Jenny. As soon as these winds die a little, I'll let you steer the jackdaw. One little trick at the helm before sundown. Yay! <laughs> Miss Jennifer Kenway, may I introduce myself? Jennifer Scott, if you please. I'm sorry, I... I... Uh... My daughter was raised by her mother, Caroline, until she passed away some years ago. Jenny prefers to use her surname to mine. Ah, uh, please forgive my ignorance. I will. She may not. Father, help me. This little rascal, however, is a Kenway. What's wrong, Haven? I can't see the stage. Up we go. How's that? Fine. But won't your arms tire? Hey, I'm not so old as that. But if they do, then we shall quit this posh gig and go and meet your mother for some chocolate at White's. How's that sound? Yes, please. Okay, hush now. 